Right. Now I can say, welcome to Top Tangle Tuesday. <laughs> I, I don't think I heard everybody's brains as much as last time, so that was good. Um, but if you want and if you want to say hi and where you're from in the chat if you haven't done so already. And if you're we had do we have two this morning new to Zentangle that came to Tough Tangle Tuesday. And uh, so if you're new to Zentangle or just new to us, let us know in the chat also. And um, I am going to put the links in the, I put the links in the chat. Um, and for those watching the video, it's in the description section. I should mention that here or there just because. And um, yeah, so if you're watching the replay, you will find them there. And I, I thought, I, oh, I, because I've opened uh, 1,200 other pages, uh, that's why I'm not finding them. Okay, so we're going to do Tide Huggins. Somehow I clicked something else. All right, let's sort of, there we go. Okay, let's, let's try that again. But, paste. Yay. Some days I think, you know, if this was a class, I would have done. Um, and then let me, there it is. Okay. Well, it doesn't help that I've worn all of the letters off of my keyboard. I can usually <laughs> type without seeing, but when you're trying to do something specific, that's when I look for the key and I can't see anything. I got to get a better keyboard. Um, all right. So I'm going to share my screen. Oh, no. Well, before I do that, because I shared it and then I changed my mind. So just a really quick uh, primer on, <laughs> on Huggins. So just in case you have never done it or you have a challenge with it, I'm going to do a really quick little nine dot grid. This starts off, as you see, mom's already started. Uh, it's a <laughs> dot grid. So, you know, for those that, well, those that were here this morning already know and have probably already half done, just kidding. So Huggins goes like this. We use it, you know, once you have your dot grid, then we use what's called takeoff and land concept. Uh, no, Phyllis, there's no closed caption here. Um, if you watch later on YouTube, there will be a closed caption. Um, so we, the takeoff and land concept is, is you trace around, you know, one, the, the outer orb. And then when you land, you trace on the outer, outer uh, line of that the other orb. So just with a nice curve line, whichever direction you want to go, up or down, but you're going to alternate the next the next one. So this one would go down, this one's up, that one's down. Then on the next row, we do opposite of this. So because that one was on top, this one's on the bottom, and then you know, we continue. And you just continue as big as your grid is that way. Then we turn it, is it 90 degrees? And we do the same thing. The challenge usually is, is where do I put that first one? One rule of thumb is we don't cross any lines. So I can't go under this one here because I would cross that line. So then we go over. That is a good way to remember that, Heather. That a good way. I think, I, think it, I think that was a Rick thing. I can't claim credit except for just to continue using it. And then you just continue on and, and try not to forget any of them. And it's good. But just remembering that you, you're, we don't cross any lines on this tangle. And that helps. So the reason I, <laughs> this morning, I was like, well, just as in regular, well, if you don't know how to do regular Huggins, then that defeats all of the purpose. So now I'll share my screen. And... All right. Okay. Now, in uh, my version of the step out, and, and, and thanks, my mom said you liked it a little bit better. I separated out some of the steps just because it helps. So you start off with your dot grid. So, how, you know, if you're filling in a section, um, I would, it's up to you. Uh, drawing, you know, bigger than you think is always good. <laughs> I think this morning some people did eight and a half by 11 sheets and filled it full. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and, and I think I did, well, see, on the one I did earlier, I have a, a good uh, fat fingers worth between the orbs. And so you make your grid. And then 
just like I showed a little regular Huggins, but what we want to do is just leave a gap in the center. And I would err towards leaving the gap wider than you think, than not, because then, then you just have to figure out later, well, how am I going to cover that up <laughs> so if it goes over? But just leaving a gap and then continuing on. And it's following the same thing that I just showed. And, but on my step out, I wanted to separate those, those two, just so I think it's easier to see. Then we're going to put, we're going to put lines through those, um, the gaps that we leave. But the thing that I found, because as I was just looking at it, and I'm like, oh, where, how do I make this? I want it to make sense in my head. And I think, oh, it was Inez earlier said uh, she didn't needed to get, get her head around it the way her brain works. And that's why I always throw out multitudes of examples because figuring, you know, I cast a wide net with them. And, you know, one will catch someone and another one will catch someone else. But if you think of looking at just this one section here, we're always going to be crossing it with full lines. So like this one is is uh, vertical, so then we're doing horizontal lines through it. And then then just find that shape, and then you could always continue on with that, with that, and then flip your tile, and then you're essentially doing the same thing over again. When I when I demonstrate it, it'll it'll make more sense if it's not already. Then we're gonna put little um I, I, I can't remember what the name was if I came up with one. Uh, going around this, it's like the tangle laced. If you've done the tangle laced, so we're gonna put. Well, this is a better view. You know, it's like we're. I, I also call it the acne hole. Um, so you know, you start. It's a big C shape. So you're starting on the line, coming up and around, under, and you know, touching you know both lines, and then also the tips if you can. Oh, that's oh Sharon says that's the oh the most important bit, point you missed this morning. Was it, oh, the, the the direction of the lines? Or was it the, the orbs thing? <laughs> Going across the, uh, ah, the two lines. Same thing all the time. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, I just, because like I said, as I, you know, sometimes when you just look at the finished product, it's like, wait a minute. Um, so we'll do that. And then, like I said, we'll put these little, uh, Caps on the end, the little holes, and then aura those, and you fill in the little sides, and and that's how it looks like it's tied. And then with the shading, that always helps. Okay, so I forgot to mention, but you can probably already gather if you're if you're new to us, you can work on whatever you want with whatever you want, and uh, we will have fun either way. Now I'm gonna gotta do my. <sighs> Let's see. You know, and I'm thinking, well, and actually Rosemary, because Rosemary couldn't be with us tonight, um, she she posted a second one that looked a bit like Crazy Huggins. And I'm like, oh, there's a, there's a something. I think we can have fun. There's so many variations on Huggins. That might be worthy of a class, a, a, a real mashup. And when I do my... Um, Grid. I like to start in the middle and work my way both ways. I'm making my orbs big, apparently. Still bigger in the center and then smaller as I go out. That's all. <laughs> that apparently is just my thing. Hmm. Well, we'll see what I have room for on here. And then I can, I do this because then I can easily, I can like eyeball here as you know, okay, there's the rest of the grid. There's the rest of the grid. And it ends up being, I don't know, almost the next best thing to use in some sort of cheat <laughs> or graph paper or something, which we don't. We'll use a cheaty thing. All kinds of different sizes of orbs I have. All right. And then, and like I said, it doesn't matter which direction you go to start off with, you just have to kind of continue. So like I said, taking off, leaving a gap, landing on the other side. And I'd like to do a row, of course, at a time. So that way you kind of get this flow, you know, and in, in my head, I'm saying over, under, over, under, and then 
I have to flip it because that one was over. So this one is under. Some of mine still, I think just because there's a separation, I still am making some of them, you know, not as arced as I would if it was regular Huggins. myself thinking about something else I'm like oh I'm almost gonna mess up <laughs> actually I was thinking oh if I if I make mine maybe a little bit the I think I want to make the tie parts a little bit smaller so I have more room for whole thing Yeah, that, that landing was a little sketchy. Okay. It was a rough landing. It was. <laughs> okay, that looks awful. Oh, yes. Well, we just have to flip it over and do the, do the same thing again. And... More arch on purpose. I'm just here to prove that anybody can do these. Uneven grid and everything. And it's crazy tied Huggins. Yeah. I think that that would be, that would be fun. That's, that's what Rosemary's looked like. And I'm like, you know, I was thinking about that earlier. And then when she did that, I was like, wow, that could be really fun. Yes, yeah, right. It shows us tangle turbulence causes turbulence causes rough landing. Yes. <laughs> rough tangle Tuesday turbulence. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yes, put yes, yes. Put your your oxygen mask on before you help anyone else. Yes. Um, oh well, well, Jen, you shouldn't have told us, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I it's just you know All right now. Once you have these, then like I said, you know whichever one you want to start with. You know, you see the shape, the direction of, of this overall shape. And if you have to fill in, you know, the gap in your mind. So then we're going to go cross across them, leaving a little bit of space, you know, kind of going over, uh, you know, into the next one just a little bit. Because that, um, the acme hole, I'm just going to start calling it that. We're, we're going to, we want to have a little bit of this line and then start the hole. And then you know you can aura it. It just it kind of helps with the illusion. Although I have some in mind that I'm touching the other shape and it's it seems to be fine. So I'm gonna just do all of these. I'm gonna aim for the ones that are more straight first. And I did say I was gonna try to make these smaller. Yeah, see like this is like you know, just put the line however you want and then have the rest just carefully. Meet up. I'm just doing the one, the one direction at a time. That makes it easy. All right, because then when you turn it, it's like, oh, it's the same shape. In the same direction. Huh. 
I left a big. <laughs> oh, and now, and let me mention too. The outsides. So I'm not doing the outsides of the of the the ones that you know that are um, where the curve line is going out because I'm not sure what I want to do. And Mom went ahead and filled those I in. Closed. So, yeah, I closed yeah. mine off. I yeah, like so, that look. Yeah, whichever you know for those outer ones, whichever way you want to go. Good. This morning, somebody continued the lace look off the off the tile or whatever oh, yeah. which is really neat yeah so you can have things coming out of those if you want to you know like me um oh i on mine from earlier i uh, oh no i haven't finished it yet but i no. for sure did these in your mind things. you finished in my it. mind yeah i was like oh that's what i was gonna do but if you want to do something coming out of i mean you could do from you know these holes you just put a new hole and and have something come out of it It's all good. All right, twist this last. I think I got them all. If I missed one, then I'll find it out later. <laughs> all right. So for the acme hole, like I said, you just think of it as a, this would, oh no, this would, well, depends on which direction. This one, it's more of a, see the way it's supposed to be. And they don't have to be real big, just real, real small. And, you know, just having that little gap on either side. I, I, if I could do that smaller, I probably would. I kind of have it like set in my head to do it one size. I'm working, make it go smaller. And if you want to do both, you know, that and then the aura around it at the same time, of course you can. Like sometimes on the step outs, I, I, I separate things further just for the visual because sometimes it's hard to see when, when they're, they're small and whatnot. Oh, like that one. That one's perfect. Extra small. Might be the only one. I'm thinking you could you could almost get away. I, I do like the the two lines having that aura like that because it does look like a an eyelet. But you could get away with not having that too. All kinds of sizes. I got. I, I I started big and then I've gotten smaller and I'm kind of keeping it smaller. So that's good. Well, that was interesting the way Rosemary did a, a big one in the middle, sort of. Yeah. And then yeah. then went smaller. It's very well, effective. In the crazy Huggins that I've seen from Zentangle, that's, they alternate. That's what the, you do. Yeah. Yeah, the size of the orbs. The crazy Huggins that I do is scattering them all over the place yes and you too. can yeah and you can um you know, change the size of the orb if you want to but mine is more of you know just an all over the place oh you need to do crazy tide huggins now yes i think that so. would be really <laughs> tough mm-hmm
But and then there's the oh, I can't remember now what it was called. There's the one that instead of doing the doing the curve line, it was like an onion dome. Hmm. I don't just, think I've seen that one. It was just a couple days ago. I should have it in my memory banks, but I bet somebody else is probably it, is typing it right now. Let's see. Oh, Joe's Joe's trying a crazy Tide Huggins. <laughs> Good. Um, let's see. Well, maybe it was last week. Or maybe it was the week before. Wow, everything just rolls all together. Or maybe it was the week before that. Wow. No, it couldn't be that far back. Oh my gosh, it is. Hugging Crown is what it was called. Here, I'll show you. I was saying, I'm assuming you have a picture of it. Yeah. Yeah, here it is. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, and I didn't even try to do it the other direction. Oh, no, I guess some of them just come out the other direction. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. We could have a Huggins fest. <laughs> we could. And I'm trying to think how many others are there. We'll, we'll start a collection. Just like well. The tangle well we could have well that one i think people have um the one i one of the wells i have not tried because i'm just like i think it was what the well because that's what i was saying like <sighs> it's kind of like this but maybe thinking about it this way and i'll, I'll have to look at it again because it's just i need to have a foundation to usually or i should say it helps And once you get done with this set, then you can go back in Aura if you want. And then it's then it's just pretty much, you know, however you want to decorate it. And some people did fantastic stuff. Yeah. It's just I've tried into... to make mine a little bigger so I could do something. Yeah. Other than color it in, but I don't know. Oh, I know. I think I got it all. I do. Okay, now go back and aura them ever so carefully. I have some that, yeah, they're touching the sides. Just don't worry about it, it's all good. And I think one of the hardest things that I have with this is that, like, at this point, it's so busy and so flat, you know, cause it's all one dimension that it, you get, I get eyeball confused. So that's why I'm, I'm going slow. And, oh, and so mom's aura inks, yeah, because that was one thing that you could do is aura uh, the sides. I did that on, on my, oh, I'm going to slip it here, on mine from earlier. And just, I, let's see. Oh, I got all of the, the Huggins parts uh, for the most part. And just, you know, doing the, the long side that's going under the tied part. And that's neat. using and I need to see if I'm oh, partly off there. Okay, I know we did I did the crazy huggins in a class, but I think that that would took a full I think that took a full class. I'm like we could have just you know Oh, maybe we'll have a crazy week or something. I don't know. <laughs> crazy month. Because we, we did Crazy Xander. 
um, at the Zen again, and we I had to have yeah. it yeah. brought that to any you know, and um, oh, let me flip the other way. Um, we have drunk Cubine. Actually, I should make a playlist of those. Oh, look at I didn't continue that. Oh. Connect the lines where they're supposed to be connected, Heather. It helps. It really does. I think this one is just the right amount of, of toughness because it's like you have to have a little bit more focus on this than regular Huggins, and Huggins takes a little bit of focus anyway. But I didn't need to take aspirin. Oh, that's funny, Joe. Yeah, that drunk Cubine, that was, that was fun. And I know that Margaret Bremner has a number of others because it seemed like um, she w was taking regular, you know, Zentangle original tangles and doing fun things with them. So I'll have to just maybe explore uh, her site a little bit more. Okay, so then the question, how do I want to decorate this? I don't know. Oh, I like that with the, real easy, print tops, aura, or aura in the yeah. sides, print That's tops. It. And some, some just some straight lines down the center of the tie parts. Yeah. Now I'm going to probably mess it up to try and add white no. in these auras. Oh no, I think it's working. We'll see. I, just, I, have, to, <laughs> I have to do them all now. That's right. And I'm. I'm, I'm going to see, well, you know what? You're not going to see the difference because I'm using a brown pen. It'll just look black. Oh, I think I like it. I wasn't sure if I would like the, I have, it's like, if I'm using a Renaissance tile, I should at least use two colors. And nothing else. Oh, this tip is bent. Apparently I've been rough on my pens again. Oh, we're doing really good on time. Well, at least I'm doing better on time. Although, because that was so big, it did take me a lot longer. I'm doing great on time because I started ahead. You did. Well, for those that weren't on earlier, mom had a doctor appointment, came in a little late, and ended up finishing before me. <laughs> and it was about the same size. It just wasn't, um, it wasn't, uh, I did mine a lot wider. Oh, I like the white in there. Better finish, though. Yeah. I'm good with that. <laughs> Orating the lines like this makes me think of, um, I think it was to sew Thomas Padros that we did. And um, that was one of the, oh, I didn't, how did I miss orating that? Um, that was one of the things that it seemed like that was almost just as hard as the, the tangle, um, the, the orating of things, because it really lent, uh, 
or accentuated the, the pattern and the optical illusion of it. Make heads or tails out of that top of that one, huh? And then, of course, you can de you know decorate the orbs, fill either fill them in or something. I like what uh, um, that did on hers, and I did it just on a couple where she kind of made two orbs in there. And then, as Diane said, oh, it just makes it kind of go steampunk. It's like, well, yes, it does. Oh, actually, if I was using other colors, and if you use Duda in there, because Duda. I mean, obviously, it looks like a zipper. That, hmm. Hmm, can I change it into something that's more steampunky, even though I've, I've already started it? I don't know. Okay. Finding these places where I didn't have the line meeting up where it was supposed to meet up. Oh, they got them all. There we go. Ah. Now, the debate. What to do <sighs> with all of those orbs? Hmm. Well, I should probably wait on that. And hmm. Am I? Then I, then I sit and debate, well, what shall I do in the center of those? Oh, golly, I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to sit here for a year and figure it out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, well, what's my first thought, which is what I should always just do? I thought it was neat that some did uh, different things in the different directions. So, like this direction, um, you know, yeah, it was one one pattern. Well, I guess I'm going to fill all of that in since I grouped that up. Here we go. Never a mistake in Zentangle when you can just fill it in. Oh, and I know what I'll do on the other side. Oh. White or something. I don't know about the other. Oh, you know what? Well, I don't know. I have to think about 
after I do this, and then then maybe something will inspire me on the other, on the on the Huggins part, not just the ties. Maybe I'll do a different thing on the other direction. I don't know yet. <laughs> oh, yay. Well, and you're on your blue one, Mom. It, it almost looks like you ordered like a a rectangle because in a, a rectangle unless oh yeah because just because it um some of them kind of go into that uh the eyelet part oh yes it just it looks neat it's like oh well, as long as it looks neat that's yes. what counts yes it does oh you might have to do a trio on this one you're done so early, or it's just, it's the, well, actually, 10 minute warning, I should say. Or you run into the, the, the challenge of the longer you sit and look at it, the um, more messing around you do with it. Yes, there's always that. Like, well, well, what can I, hmm, something shiny, maybe. <laughs> All right, where's my. Let's say that I, I oh, there we go. moved things around. I was supposedly cleaning my desk off, but moved some things I can't find now. Eh, yeah. so. It's like there's no gra I'm using the 05 uh, white just because I want it because so it would fit in here nicer and not be, you know, because with that juicy number 10, I was worried that it would, you know, just make it a mess. And it's working good, but I was like, what oh, is it picking up and it stopped? running a little bit. I think I might do the same on the other side, I'm thinking, because I kind of like it. Why not, right? <laughs> exactly. Right. And having, you know, there is a little a, a smidge of contrast with those with the the acne holes, and then if you decide to fill in, however you decide to fill in the orbs. But I, so I kind of like this because it adds another level of contrast. But mine, even though you, I'm sure you can't see that it's brown, if I move. Mm, uh, you know what? As you move it, you can see it you a little. See the brown. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I should do this the other way. I was first thinking Shattuck, and I could, but then it's like, oh, it's too small. 
Too small. And remembering, today is only Tuesday. I know. Woohoo! To keep telling myself that. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see what everybody. Oh, there's still people here. Everybody's been so quiet on the chat. Not, not that it yeah, has to do anything. It's just like, oh, but everybody's into it. And it's just like, ooh, I can't wait to see what everybody has done. Either they all fell asleep or they're just intent on what they're doing. Well, Ventangle is relaxing. <laughs> right, see, yeah, we're busy. Right. Exactly. But like I said, this one does take a little bit more focus. Well, focus and then, too, there's all these little places to do things. And if you did them way too small. <laughs> like I kind of did. <laughs> Carla says focus and Joe's giving us some Z's. <laughs> I think Joe numbed his own brain trying to do crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy drunken huggins. Yeah. Actually, I think, it, you know, it, being that Zentangle did put out the, the crazy huggins a little different, I should probably mm -hmm. rename mine drunk huggins. It is way more drunk looking than than it is crazy. I mean, it is crazy, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> Alex says Huggins and handcuffs. <laughs> well, what you do with your Huggins is up to you. Uh, you know, <laughs> do you mind? Oh, Joe, I'm well, I'm glad that I can't wait to see your result then. Always nice when you when we please ourselves because we are our own worst crit, worst critic. It sure does take a lot of convincing us to see otherwise. I haven't even gotten to any shading yet. And we have three minutes. Yeah. If anyone is curious about shading? I always just go with the where things. Actually, where's it? I do it. Oh, here it is. I started on on my my other one. I'm like, well, I'll decorate it later. But where things go, where things tuck under, where you want it to curve. Ooh, and actually, because I didn't even think about it, really technically, I should have put some here too. Lightly. Well, I guess you went. No, you don't necessarily have to. You? Oh, you did. Okay. I wasn't thinking about that earlier. Anywhere that it tucks in and out. And then just being careful to not, you know, like here, it's like, well, we're just doing those two portions. And we want to stay out of that center. But then we want to put some 
in this side of the of the center, right? So that way it's going in. Yeah. I'm working with this one because I already started started uh, with the graphite, and um, not sure what I want to do with the other one. I've given myself a lot of homework. Oh, you know, I should have done hindsight. Could have just done instead of with the graphite, use the, the chalk pencils. Because that would add. But it's still good. Oh, good, Joe. Yeah, you know, it, it, it. the shading is such the magic. Really, really is. I don't know. We'll see. I like your print top idea. Hmm. But you know what? I could just continue with the little straight lines, couldn't I? Of course I could. Why not? <laughs> Why, why not? Oh, except, well, I guess I'm going to cap those ones off. I, I guess I, need, I needed to decide that, because depending on what I was going to do. Oh, Ooh, I'll do this down the center first. Oh, yes, just like that. Oh, and maybe some rounding. I does go fast. Oh, it is time. Whoa. Okay. Oh, Allie. Wow. Wow, wow. And nice, Jen. Was that, that was, oh, that's right, because you had to split early. Nice. Nice. All right. So, if everybody, open up your webcam, everybody that wants to, and can. Oh, look at Sue's. What did I do? Um, wow. And Ted Rock kind of went on the steampunk idea ish. I'm thinking. I'm guessing right. Ah, oh, Joe did too. Love it. All right. Cassie, you can, you can pull yours away from the camera a little bit. I'm just getting a little portion. Keep going. Oh, yep. And then that's, oh, look at, then you, there's light. Oh, perfect. And we'll get Nancy in there. Oops. And I have two pages. Wow, I do. But you know what? I'm going to take mine off for now because you'll see mine. And then I'll get it on one page. Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Nancy, hold yours up towards the ceiling a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Hold them steady. Oh, and Diane. Oh, my God. These are amazing. Hold them steady. I'll man on them forever. All right. I got them and nothing is interfering. Yay. Okay. And, oh, let's see. I stopped my webcam already, so I don't have to do that. Yee. Let me do this. This. And share my screen. All right. And 
dust. Look at all this gorgeousness. Wow, wow. Oh, I don't know why Jen just turned it up blurry a little bit. It's all that sunshininess. He was a good boy. <laughs> These are amazing. Oh, that's okay, Luna. Yeah. Actually, we'll turn off the. Mom, did you disappear? Sue and can you turn those off? Oh, there you are. Oh, yeah, I, I need to turn mine off. off too. Yeah. Well, I was just like, are you there? I thought maybe you ran somewhere. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm busy coloring something that I oh. did some other night. There. Now, Tedra just needs to. I got it. Okay, there, now it's bigger. Focus on a, another project. <laughs> Look yeah. at these. So, mm -hmm. Diane did, did a nice steampunk there. Yep, oops. Uh, let me, I'm, I'm going to mute you. Just because we're getting extra noise. All right, perfect. Love that. Oh, and Kim, I like that. I like the just the light color um, on those ties. Joe's really <laughs> looks steampunky. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I should go from one to the next, starting with Joyce. Look at all those orbs in there and how nice they are. Wow. I love Allie's with that, that doodah. Is just, oh, look, it did a little loop-de-loop -loop in there. Oh, a couple loop-de-loops. Three. Oh, that's so good. I love that casting on the black. And Galena, nice. I like that having that they're all of the all of the little streamers are are coming out the outside. That's neat. Oh, nice job, Janet. Oh, that, that, just awesome. 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 And Mel. Nice. Yeah, I like the different colors. I, I might have to well, no, I'm doing lines on mine. That's what I decided to do have my, my earlier one I still need to decide what to do and oh thank you storm we'll see you um and thank you Luna just put in the chat uh ways to connect so if you if you're not on the Facebook group well and if you are on Facebook and want to join the group there's a link there and my email and all of the other places so thank you so much Luna and I'm looking at Rhonda well actually let me look at Nancy's first oh I like it with um oh Wing, uh, tangle in the background on the border, something like that. That's very neat, very neat. And I was looking at Rhonda's, and I like look how she did. I have to see that. <laughs> just put that little loop on the on the outsides like that. That's just yeah. Neat. yeah. It really looks it, makes it look like something was woven in and out. Yeah. Well, they all do that. Yeah, but yeah. The ones that have extended, like uh, Jen and uh, Galena, and who else? Oh, Allie did. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. the way Allie made her, her, she didn't do straight lines. She did wiggly lines. Yeah. Well, as I said, the, uh, and the, the times part, she's got some loop-de-loops in there. And Tedra did that also, having some of the, the streamers just kind of coming out and you know, they're loose. Uh, I just looked, Diane, she must, she and Karen need to get together. Yeah. They, Karen loves steampunk too. But look yeah. at the light bulb up at the top. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and like, it's plugged in at the bottom and the rest of them look like plumbing pipes. Only maybe that's because we have to have plumbing done. That's why it looks like plumbing pipes to yeah. me. Yeah. Oh, but it does. Oh, and Tarla's Gorgeous. Wait, where 
the bottom corner. Oh, I took yeah, mine yeah, off okay. so that way I had just one page. I, I should have done that earlier because we had just one on the other page. Wow. I like it. So neat. Oh, well, that's it's right. Good. Hers, good. Good. She's got dangles going off too, and hers looks steampunky too. It looks like it was riveted. Riveted. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, a lot of them do look riveted. Yeah. Look steampunky. It's just the yeah. nature of it, I think. Planted the seed. <laughs> Mine looks <laughs> like little rugs, I think, but. <laughs> uh, well, it kind of does. Oh, makes, well, a little bit makes me think of those, um, what were those rugs that we, um, they were like, rag well, rug, they, right? yeah, rag rug. But they didn't go opposite direction. It was more of a thread yeah. that went the opposite direction. Oh, neat. And Shirley, look out on that on the prep, prep style and storms. Nice. As I, as I was mentioning, Sue's, Sue, uh, uh, they put the spirals, yeah, putting print tops inside those orbs. It, it, wow. It just gives it a whole different look. Looks like a, looks like it, because the, the caps look like, they look like caps. It looks like an alien army. I, see, I, I feel like I see Yoda peeking out of the one side. This side right here. Oh, I can use my pointer. <laughs> so neat. Oh, yes, the pot holders. Yes. With the loom. So very neat. Love them all. All right. Well, let me say goodbye to the recording.